Hello. Welcome. Uh, we are temporarily kind of getting uh, a little bit of technical difficulties as usual. We wouldn't be here without technical difficulties. <laughs> so we are um, waiting on our guest to show up. Uh, he's having some technical difficulties. So we're going to kind of warm up a little bit, catch everybody up with what we're doing, and then uh, maybe even start a little bit and kind of play his, his character. So we are playing, uh, kind of looking at some of the other... monster. What's that? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he, he's going to be no, the sacrificial. No, no. You're it, only at one health. It's weird. Yeah. We were role-playing <laughs> the way... We, <laughs> yeah. we thought this was what you wanted. <laughs> Uh, so we we started a, a game of Mansions of Madness, which is another Arkham Files game, Arkham Horror Files from Fantasy Flight Game. Um, they have quite a few games in their collection. As a matter of fact, um, they're having this very weekend, I think, Arkham Nights in Roseville, Minnesota, where oh. the home office is. So there's a big gathering of people who love uh, the Arkham Horror games, and they play games late into the night and they're testing out i believe the new arkham horror uh board game is coming out and they're probably getting to play that so very jealous i've always wanted to go to the arkham um uh, weekend i've been to some of the other ones they actually had a starcraft weekend um one at one point when they had the starcraft license the and board game yeah yeah the starcraft, starcraft board game. game yeah wow it was pretty fun i think the most fun i've had is when i went for the descent because um, that was kind of their only role-playing game at the time that was kind of fun. Um, and then they started Arkham Files after I moved down south farther away, so couldn't go anymore. It was sad, but I still plan when on it someday. What's that? When do they have that? Uh, so they have the Arkham Nights, or the Arkham Weekend. Uh, it's always in October, close to Halloween. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, the descent is sometimes in the summer. I don't. They haven't had it in a while. I think it's mostly because they haven't released a whole lot of new content for the descent world. It's been they've kind of released some miniature uh, miniature army games in that same world, but nothing with descent. So hmm. I see. So anyway, I digress. But <laughs> this is no. probably yeah. It's good info for people who are watching this. They might be into going. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's, and then and so the Arkham games they have so far are the Arkham Horror game, which was the first board game they had. They just released a third edition of it. It looks really cool. It's kind of modular, um, and it seems like it'll be an interesting change to the game. Um, but that one's been around the longest. And then they had um, Elder Sign, Arkham Horror card game, and then um, Eldritch Horror which kind of took things on a global scale and Mansions of Madness has this is the second edition of Mansions of Madness the first edition one player had to play the basically the the game master uh, and it was very easy to mess things up because you had to set all the cards on the board correctly <laughs> so it was pretty hard and then um, this second edition I think is really amazing because it's fully cooperative now and the app controls everything bad uh, and the puzzles and everything, so it's it's really cool. Um, so you have people yeah. didn't tune in last week. How does Mansions of Man Madness kind of work? Briefly. Well, yeah. So a lot of people compare it to like games like uh, Betrayal, where you you start in one room of the house, you you get a little bit of a backstory, you don't really know what's going on, and then you're just kind of given free run to run around and explore. Some of the missions take place out in the wilderness, which is kind of cool. They they had an expansion that kind of introduced the outside. Uh, they had a, a recent uh, expansion that includes the streets of Arkham, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, the, the latest expansion, which is coming out very soon, is called... Okay, I can't remember the exact name, but it has to do with traveling. And I think there's going to be... Uh, some episodes that take place on like trains and boats and things like that. Okay. Um, so basically, what you do is you're uh, an investigation. Your investigators trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lot of mystery, so there's very much a thematic story to it. 
Uh, each one's different. I think there was, what did we say when we looked at the app? It was like 16 scenarios so far. You can play. Yeah, it was quite a bit. And uh, each one has its own layout, its own setup. They there are different varying game lengths. So if you want to play a short game, there's some scenarios that are short, but most of them are kind of medium to long. And then there's some that are longer that are like really long. So I'm really interested in playing those at some point. It'd be kind of fun to take one of those long ones on and see what they're like. Um, so that's that's pretty much the game. Um, well, well, it's pretty much the breakdown, I guess, is what I was talking about of how like a turn. Oh uh, yeah. Take a turn, right? And they take two actions. Mm-hmm. Uh, then there's a mystery phase, which is like a strange event, and then a monster phase, right? Yeah. So all the monsters, if there are any on the board, which we have one now, we've got a hunting horror that's cornering Deb's character. Uh, yes. at this point and so the monsters will go and then everybody that's in a room with a monster the rooms are divided by these brown lines if you're in a room with a monster you have to take a horror check against one of the monsters in your room and then it just kind of repeats until either the pl investigators win or they all get killed i think if even one character gets killed the game is over oh yikes I gotta watch that i should probably look that up but i'm pretty sure that's the rule and I think just somehow, again, if people missed last week, we're playing the first scenario, which mm -hmm. for whatever backstory there is with it, we're basically investigators and one of our old people we talked to, I don't know, remember what we were investigating, but they called us back and said, we, we were need to in, come to the mansion. Right? Yeah, we were investigating some disappearances in town. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. one of the places that we had investigated uh, the butler from that place called us and said his master's been acting weird and he thinks there's something connected. And so, therefore, um, he wanted us to come help. And it seems to be there's some kind of astronomical society or something like that that's connected to this rich guy. That's right, that's right. Um, we yeah, don't... We, yeah, we, we haven't learned too much. We, we, Of the rooms we've explored, the only... We found some items and things, but the only actual as to what's going on we ran into a butler who gave us a code to get into some secret passage and said please basically help mr vanderbilt uh but we still don't really know exactly what it is i think Wait, if I you got a code or just directions yeah i think yeah he said you know there's some sort of lever i think right? yeah secret yeah, behind the bookcase yeah oh, okay i yeah. thought we had I thought we had like an actual code. It was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, yeah. I, I guess I meant uh, a way to access. I don't even know if he mentioned where it leads to, but just a switch or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm we trying still to... never found out what that question mark over er, by the butler was, right? Are we gonna do that? I I think we're yeah. Gabe and I are kind of stuck here in this area. I'm sure one we can have Ev do it. Just send him over there. <laughs> But he's all the way in this room by himself. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I'm sure Gabe or I could grab it. Um, oh. Yeah. So the rule. So the rules say um, when an investigator is eliminated, all uh, they have one more phase, one more investigator phase to complete the investigation. At the end of that phase, if we didn't complete the investigation, we lose. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, pretty. It's pretty much cooperative as much as you can get because if we lose, if one of us loses, we all lose. So yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Well, I know Ev's still running behind, but I say we play if we got to play a round or two. Yeah, for sure. Of his character, might as well because I think I think we really want to try and finish this tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sure. Deb, did you? Did you want to go first over here with the with the creature in your space? I'm uh, wondering if I should kite it out of the room. That's what I was thinking. If you, you kind of come toward us, for you? Yeah. yeah. I really wanted to just use my turn to get that one of the clues next to me in the space next to me. I know I have to evade, but um, you think I should attack it and then move, or do you think I should double move? Well, if you double move, you might have a chance of not... It, it might not be able to fly far enough to get to you. Yeah, I guess I should try to move first in case I fail, and then I'll know. Yeah, what to do for your second action. Yeah, but if... I mean, if I want to attack it, I should attack it now. 
So it's like a coin toss. Yeah. I mean, I'm at full health. I'm not gonna die if it attacks me. Yeah. Plenty so. of clues, I think, right? I think so. Good amount. On only bad thing is no weapon. Punching yeah. is pretty good in this game. It's not like the best, but it's not too bad either. Well, okay. your this dazed card. Do you so. is is that yeah. still? Or were you supposed to discard that? Because that might be what. Oh. What? When did because... I get dazed? Did I get dazed from the monster? Hmm. That's a good question. I can't remember. I don't remember. I no, think. Because you probably don't want to fight him if you have that. You can't use clues on die rolls. But it goes away at the end of your turn. Mm. Should I still have that? Or did I get rid of that? Yeah, I can't remember how long ago it was. I thought it was from an event of some sort. But was it last... Was it opening up the rooms? Oh, it might have been one of your your horror. Or one of the clues I found, because I don't think yeah. it was from the flying thing. Yeah. The app doesn't go back. You can't have a history log of which is probably too... Because I think, wasn't it like no, all it the thing to do was move? It didn't attack or something? Yeah. So yeah, that's like, right. I think you were supposed to, right at the end of this last turn, was when it was We're going supposed to get rid of it into the game yeah yeah that makes sense it. because i you would not have we're just now starting a new round so yeah yeah and it would have been at the end of my turn it says yeah it doesn't say at the end of your next turn it just says at the end of your turn yeah that's true yeah so I, does I it think... have a backside? No. uh no only okay. some of them do do we know when that would have been drawn? Uh, I don't. The app, so the app doesn't keep track of any of that. It only keeps track of. Oh. Yeah. I th I think yeah, it was sometime. It was supposed to be at the end of this last one that you're supposed to get rid of it. Because I don't think I failed the horror check when it was in my space. Yeah. The that. So the only thing that would have happened that would have given it to you was if there was some kind of weird event that happened at the end of last round, but I don't I think oh. it been there for a Wait, no, there was there was a thing that was like um, cuz the monster did two things. The first thing it couldn't do and then it did the second thing was like go to the nearest Yeah, person. it was just to move. I kind of remember that yeah. too. It didn't, so yeah, it never attacked you. I I really think it's supposed to be gone. I think I remember it from something a little bit ago. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Do you want me to just delete it or do I need uh, I can up? I can take it over to the discard pile. Okay. Cool. So who? So Deb was wanting to go first, maybe, or no? Yeah, it might be good because then then we could kind of decide. If things go really far south, we could decide if we, we need to get up there faster or not. Okay. Um, okay, so I want to try to attack it first. Do I have to do anything for that? I just roll two dice? Um, okay, so let me... Or it's e going to tell me what Yeah, each right. attack has a different... Yeah. Okay. Let's hope for agility or so, something not strength. So the nice thing about this uh, app is that it will save a game at the top of a round. Unfortunately, you also, if you're playing the physical board game, you have to leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's loading it up. All right, so we're attacking the hunting horror and unarmed, right? Yeah. Okay. As the creature lunges, snarling and snapping toward you, you nimbly dance out of the way, luring it closer and closer to some misadventure. Test agility plus one. Oh, sick. Agility plus one, all right. Okay, so that's four, right? I got three agility? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, Ooh. one, and I can use a clue to get that other one. Okay, so the monster is going to suffer damage equal to your test result. Okay, so two? Yeah. Cool. All right, good start, good start. Yeah. And then 
then how much health does it have left? Do we know? It has five out of seven. It, you knocked two off. Okay. Yeah. Do you think I should just attack it again, or do you think I should kite it? I mean, you could. If you have another good round like that, you'd have it more than halfway dead. But All right, let's do it. Let's yeah. just attack it. Because you guys are just going to, like, double move to get to it, right? Yeah, I mean, it would take us forever to get over there. Well, are you guys both up top? Oh, how did yeah. that happen? We gotta go. Well, I had to come up here one, two, one, to fight two. it. One of you can get here at least, and then the other one grab that clue. Yeah, I mean, I can always run back because Joe could go for the search token, and then I can, since I have a weapon, I can run back. Yeah, that sounds good. I had that dumb thing that made me move towards Gabe. It was some mesmerized thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, why are there two of you up there? All right, that sounds good. I'll just attack it again then. So okay. Let's see what I can do this time. <laughs> no whammy. <laughs> All right, so we have an arm. Come on, observation for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> with empty hand, the beast, with empty hands and the beast looming over you, you struggle to work up the courage to attack. An equal measure of bravery and insanity fuels your attack and you lash out at the creature. Test will. Ooh. Oh, my will's four, though, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah, three plus Prove one. that. Two, three, four. Come on. Okay, Ooh. okay. I can really spend many, the clues. How many clues can I spend? As many as you want, yeah. I think. Oh, Nick, let's spend two, then, and do four successes. Oh, by the way, have you suffered two, the three or more horror? No, I have okay. no horror. Okay. I don't think. Wait, what is this? Is this brain thing one horror? Uh, Yeah. Okay, so I've suffered one. Then. Okay, okay. So that was a total of how many successes? Four. Four. Wow, so he's down to one hit point. Oh, yeah. so close. Well, that's good. Then I can just punch him again next turn. <laughs> and then yeah. take that fucking clue behind me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, so I we got a little I more breathing room. Go before you, Gabe. Um, well, I was going to give you a clue with my power before you ran off. I haven't run off. Oh, you, you mean now you would want to give me one. But you're thinking of like double moving to get to Deb even though... Well, I don't know if it's necessary, move. really. At this point, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, you guys might as well just come over here anyway because this is... There's no... There's a dead end over there. Yeah. So, like, whoever wants to get the clue, cool. But only one of you needs to do that. This is the locked fridge thing. It's probably a strength test, right? I don't know. I, I can look at it. Um, it yeah. says... Someone has locked this cabinet by wrapping a chain around the handles. Yeah. I think it's a test for you and not the old man with that can barely move. The old professor. My guy. Okay, but how are you going to fight... Are you so, yeah all right well I can go yeah I can go do it and then I can give you a clue so yeah I guess if you want to go and by the way I got updated from uh, Evan he's probably not gonna make it he says so we'll be playing his guy I think okay okay oh yeah that's sad unless but, we yeah. have someone in chat who wants to jump in <laughs> welcome to do so if you want speak up if you have tabletop simulator <laughs> And Zoom. <laughs> yeah. And Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Zoom. We'll just keep playing it until we have a volunteer. All right. Um, so I'm going going now, right? Sure. Okay. So I'll do a move action, uh, move over here, and then we'll check out the old refrigerator as a second action. The chain okay. is sturdy. But the cha the cabinet doors are made of thin wood. You think you could break one of the doors off. Test strength and roll two additional dice if you have the co uh, crowbar item, which I don't. I never... Every time I get that, I never have the crowbar. Maybe it's like a random thing you get as a, an item. Yeah. You're, you're focused and you have good strength, so... That's true. The thing with focus is I wonder if you have to do it on your next test. It says a test... No, I guess I can wait May and see. It's not, May is always whenever you want. Yeah, and I guess I can see if I get in, uh, a good amount of... Investigation. Yeah. 
So we'll see what I get. All right, two successes and one. I have a clue token. Should I spend it? You think it's a tough? It says it's sturdy, but the cabinet doors are made of thin wood. Let's go with the two, I think. Yeah, I think how the many, two would be enough. How many clues do you have? I have one. Yeah, I'll just go with the two, I think. All right. So we're going to go with two. Might not even be that great. The flimsy wood cracks as you pull the cabinet door off its hinges. Gain the sedative's common item, then discur discard the search token. Hey. So All right. What if you hit it too hard and you broke the bottle of sedatives? I, maybe that, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that could be a possibility. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like, you succeeded too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get you're, punished. You're overqualified for this job. Sick of winning. <laughs> sick of winning. You ripped the drawer out of the fucking thing, the nightstand, and a bunch <laughs> of powder flew everywhere. So this is going to let us uh, heal three damage and three horror from an investigator. Or whoever has this item, yeah. That's pretty All good. Right. So if we get somebody really hurt. Uh, I, I still have one movement left. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I'll just go ahead and move back here. And then this, this room is going to be clean. There was nothing to do with Eugene, right? Uh, let me check. I think I think the last thing with him said he was pretty much done. Yeah, he just says, please hurry, Mr. Vanderbilt is in danger. There's nothing okay. to talk to him about. Uh, well, mine will be pretty easy then. Um, now that you pick that up, there's not much to do. I'll give you a clue with my action. So I'll give you one, Gabe. All right, thank you. And then I'll just do my movement, start heading, making my way over there too. Making my way downtown. I think I'll I'll pick up this item or this knife on my way. Why? Because I can't do anything else anyway. I mean, I could double move, but we we only have one weapon between all four of us. I've got a fire extinguisher. You know what I could do with that. That's I true. I don't think we need the knife. I'd rather have you double move and have you over here. So you can blast any more monsters that sprout out of this fucking bookcase once I investigate it. Yeah. I'm gonna investigate All right. Shit. I'll just leave it then. So oh. we just got to do Agatha's, the extra yeah. person. So I don't, I don't have she... Agatha grab that search next to her. Yeah, I and don't think she'd pick up the lantern. The it's not that great. Because it's you don't think it is unarmed. attacking unarmed. Isn't she unarmed though? Yeah, I mean she doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, I mean, what? she's probably going to use well, the spell for... It would cost an action, then you couldn't yeah, search. Yeah, set up, and then she can't get the search. No. Uh, I'd say let's do well, it. Yeah, fuck it. And then, and then she'll she'll move here, and then do this last one next turn. Do this other search token here. Okay. Because I think we'll be pretty much converging about the same time, because she's a little bit closer than the two of us over here anyway. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I All think right. that's everyone. Now we move into like the. Oh yeah, the mythos. Yeah. All right. Whispered voices drift through the halls. Mandy Thompson glances about anxiously, looking for where the sounds could be coming from. While yeah, great thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. While distracted, she walks face first into a wall. Mandy cool. Thompson suffers one face down damage. Well, that's lame. Okay. So, with this, like, face down horror, does that mean my sanity is supposed to be at 7 instead of 8? Yeah, so that's that's the trick with this game is I actually don't think the counters are, are worth it because you can just stack cards and you'll know how much health or sanity you have. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just it, keep track of them. Yeah, either way. Yeah. Poor Mandy. Walking into walls. I don't know why I'm walking into a wall. It, the fucking thing's right in front of me. I'm looking at it. I punched it twice. Oh no, a wall uh -oh. out of nowhere. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> a, a robed figure appears from a secret door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There's someone here. You hear a muffled response from another part of the estate. Get rid of them. Spawn a dark druid, as indicated, and it's in the room with Agatha. Oh shit. Did so it come out of the fucking fireplace? <laughs> Maybe. Seems like that was two events. So 
Mandy got hit and the rope figure came out? So. Uh, well, there are, I think there are planned events. Like after so many turns, certain thing ha th certain things happen, and then there there's also like random events. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it says will generate one or more mythos events to be resolved by the investigation. Oh yeah, okay. So the dark druid has appeared. Let me switch back to the. Oh, he's weak as fuck. Yeah, right? he's not Free too help? bad. Or wait. How do we know how much health it has? Um, uh, the app tells us. I'll, I'll, uh -oh. Let me see. Once I get past this screen. Because the hunting horrors don't have a 7 on them. So yeah. that's confusing. Okay. Uh, the hunting horror moves three spaces toward the investigator within range with the lowest agility. Then it attacks that investigator. Did you know that thing is flying? It can pass through Im impassable borders? Ooh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, I yeah. think I do remember it saying that it teleports. Yeah. So where's yeah. it supposed to move now? So, since it's in a space with the nearest investigator, so it only would move toward whoever has the lowest agility within the same room, which is just uh, Deb's character, Mandy. That's me. So it's just going to attack... You switch okay. back to that. Um, the creature moves with alarming speed, lashing toward you with a single motion of its hideous black wings. Suffer two damage. Agility negates. Ooh. Okay. My agility is three. So. Ooh. Right. Could negate so, the last one. It's two damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that. No damage, please. All right. I'm going to beat it to death soon. <laughs> <laughs> so the Dark Druid is going to move two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. So that would be just here. Then it attacks the investigator within range with the lowest strength. So it attacks Agatha. Okay. Only the biggest and strongest should survive, hisses the Druid, throwing a fistful of glittering powder at you. Test observation, and you want to try to get... Three successes. Shit. Why wasn't that against me? I have five observations. <laughs> so she Agatha has, has four. four. Yeah. You want three successes? Ouch. Yeah. Oh. Yikes. Oh, How about? R. I. P. How about none? Well, I could. Should I spin one clue, or is it really not even worth it? There's no partial pass. It's either all or nothing. Okay. Um, uh oh. Oh. I didn't see what it said. Hold on. How do I go backwards? Message log. Uh, if you fail, the places where the powder touches your skin wither and turn gray. Suffer three face down damage. Damn. Three? Okay, I'll yeah, grab those. That's a tough one. Wow. Yikes. Where I get that? Yeah, how much health is... Oh, two left? Woo. Yeah. Yeah, not good. Well, then, remember, she only becomes wounded, but, yeah, it kind of makes her a little bit harder to move around. Okay. Do we know how much health that guy has? Uh, he, let's see, he has, okay, so let's do her horror check first, Agatha's, so we can see. Okay. Oh, I can't see yet. I, we'll have to wait till the investigator's turn. The drone of 10,000 locusts echoes from the druid's open mouth. Test will... And you want to try to get two. Locusts? Oh, so this is Agatha again? Now, what's it doing? It already attacked A her. Right, but Agatha, everybody who's in a space with a monster has to do a horror check at the end of each round. Wow. So, lore, you said? Uh, no, Will. Oh, Will? Holy balls. My, you want to get a two. Yeah. Let's see. I can tell you in real life oh, I wouldn't have that horror check. <laughs> yeah, Locus. All right, so she it. you ignore the pro improbable phenomenon. It just says it's a drone of 10,000 locusts, so maybe it's not the actual locusts themselves. It's not too bad. Damn. But like aren't drones like a a type of bug like worker ants and drones? Oh, yeah, I just assumed the drone was the sound, but maybe it is the Oh, like oh, the drone okay. of the. Oh yeah, I don't know how it's. Are they're both spelled the same though, aren't they? Yeah. So that, 
Helpful. Fuck you, English. <laughs> <laughs> you right. dumb synonyms or whatever. Homophones. It is. Homophones? Is it a homophone? Sounds the same. Means mm. different things. Oh, or sp I guess spell the same would be homonym. Yeah, spelled the mm. same, different meanings. Right, because it's a sounding the same. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Lessons. So, exactly. <laughs> Getting English lessons. There you go. And man, matches madness lessons. We all graduated. <laughs> <laughs> so now Deb just has her horror check. Yes. The creature's keening cry rises all around you. Suffer three face down horror. Will negates. Will negates. Okay, my will is four. Fuck, I don't have any more fucking tokens. Dicks! Okay. Damn. So I take two? Yeah. Two face down at least. Two face down, okay. Alright. Woof. That's not horror, that's definitely health. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was horror, wasn't it? Can yeah. we put these back? Just right on top. Oh, these. did you suffer one or more horror? Yes. It seems the haunting notes become physical things binding you to the ground, become restrained. Okay, that's fine. I'll get that card not that's moving. probably up here. Yeah, it's on the left. Pretty much like we thought it would be, what it would be. All right, so that is the end of the mythos yeah, phase. Fine. Back to us. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to double move to get to Deb and, like, fill her clues, but it, all I'll be able to do is get, like, right here. But I can go before her next turn and give her clues. I thought we've uh, talked to you about that, Harvey. You can't just give young girls clues anymore got in trouble right, go, with, trouble with why am i a professor if i can't uh, hit on them? can i just go before you because like i understand that you want to give me clues for like fighting it but i have two chances to fight it because i can't move oh yeah this turn it won't matter i i wouldn't be able to give you clues this turn but next turn i'd be in position oh okay uh so yeah if you want to didn't bu bug me okay okay oh are you just gonna double move then yeah i was just gonna run Oh, I mean, you can do that then. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just... I don't really see anything else. Let me know if this is silly, but... I figure, yeah, so I'll go one, two, three, four, and then I'll at least be in range next turn to do my action. Okay. It, if the cultist is down with Agatha, don't we want to... Like, that guy has full health. Don't we want to be closer to that than the flying I, thing? I thought Gabe might run there. Yeah, I'll double move. I'll be in the same space as them. Oh, okay. All right, cool. And Joe, you didn't want to like just move up here and get that clue instead of double moving. Well, next um, turn I could move to you. I could give it to you in the spot you're in now because I can do it within range, and then then I could get this one. That what's, could be my next what's turn. Considered in range? Is it just the same room? Three spaces yeah. in the same room. Within three spaces in the same room. Yeah, but you can be on the other side of the room and still give it to me. This is all one hallway. I could if I was here, Gabe. Uh, yeah, because it's within three okay. spaces. Yeah, I could. Didn't matter to me. So, like, you'd be here. And then get that clue. Because where were you? Where did you start? Here? Uh, I was in the dining room kitchen with the butler. Oh, yeah, so this, even here, Gabe, would be considered same room now that would be one two three yeah that would oh, be wow mm -hmm. okay three okay. spaces mm -hmm. all right okay so you were you were here in the lobby first or were you were in the dining room i was in the dining room okay so one two three be four. Right oh, okay four. i see yeah so that works yeah okay okay so i'm gonna punch the fucking thing in the face <laughs> yeah all right and hopefully not die <laughs> Uh, all right, unarmed. The creature shrugs off your initial attacks, and you look for any vital area that might allow you to hurt it. Test observation. observation? Yes. Okay. Very cool. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. This fucking Christ, that's harsh. Okay, one. Hopefully, that's all you need. Uh, yeah, you only needed to get two. No, she only got one. Do oh, do one? you have a clue token? Nope. No. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you had to get two. Okay, Ouch. so then I'll attack again. Yeah, your subsequent strikes are as ineffective as your first, yeah. Ah, 
should have done it. one hit point. Yeah, I know, right? All right, attack. I saw one weak point. I punched that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you leap into the air and kick your legs out toward the beast. Test agility, and you oh. want to try to get at least two. Oh, okay. Crap. One, two, three. Come on, no whammy. Let's go. Wow. Yes! Be better at agility, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you pass, and the kick carries the full weight of your body behind it. Uh, let's see. The monster suffers three damage. Done. Get wrecked, monster. All right, so he is gone. Nice work. Nice drop kicking over here. Yeah, drop kicked the air monster. <laughs> I'm a god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like crouching tiger, hidden fucking dragon in here. <laughs> Restrained my ass. Okay, I get to delete that now. Yeah. So that's Debs. So now it's the bottom people. Gabe and Ev. All right. I like actually deleted it, so I just have to copy. Oh, it. that's okay. Yeah, I think there's plenty of copies in there. All right. Um, I'm trying to decide. Should I just have Agatha attack? As long as she's not gonna like take retaliation damage or something. Can she heal herself? Does she have anything to heal? She can give herself focus, that's it. But the monster will hit her now that they're in the same space if she has anything but attack, right? Yeah, there's a, so she, yeah, so she could so attack. You know what? She could attack unarmed. She's got the kerosene lantern. That yeah. Could help. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Now we find out how much health it has, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got five, so not too okay. bad. You, uh, you're certain that if you can drive the pain of your injuries from your mind, it, you will last long enough to strike back. Test will. Okay. Uh, four, do you want me to draw? Else? Yeah, do you go ahead, Joe. Come on, Agatha. Crazy old lady. Oh, I'm bad. I should not be rolling. You want to just spend one... You want to even bother spending a clue? Yeah, you have to get two at least. Okay, well, so no, bother. So, yeah, don't bother you. The right. distraction of past and present injuries draw your focus away from the task at hand. So should we have her attack again? I mean, that's all she can do, right? Yeah. Unless she wants to, like, walk away. Yeah. You're certain that you, if you can drive the pain of your injuries from your mind, you will last long enough to strike back, test will, and you want to get yeah. at least two. Again, so the exact same thing. <laughs> Sometimes, same. yeah, it'll be the same test. Okay, if I do bad, I'm not rolling for Agatha anymore. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Two. Uh, you pass, so an opening comes mercifully soon, and you throw your weight behind a vicious elbow. The monster suffers two damage. Okay. The people's elbow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what she did. Big rock fan. Hell yeah. All right. Yikes. That's well, Agatha the Rock Crane. <laughs> She's going to have to suffer through another monster phase. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Well, I'll be in her space, so hopefully he'll attack me. Oh, that's true. All right. So that's the end of all of our turns, right? I think oh, that's I didn't even notice that Joe and yeah. I are... We've switched bodies today. Yeah, they're making fun of us. <laughs> But it's a casual night. We'll just take it easy. That's right. Whoa, I was going to switch and then I just picked up the whole, uh... Uh-oh. The whole oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> oh, we'll get it correct eventually. There we go. Our fans know this. It takes us time. <laughs> yeah. <get> Alright. <laughs> drawing next to the board, it's a... It's the fire extinguisher jammed into the throat of the night terror thing. What is it called? Haunting, hunting horror. It was my wrestling move from last and week. Then, and then the blood is just like all on the. Watch track. last week's show and you'll you'll understand <laughs> it if you. Yeah, do. it's got a little X for an eye, and then it says fire on the fire extinguisher because it didn't <laughs> look like a fire extinguisher. <laughs> but that's what's happening, and then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so 
So we're I back with a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> we're back to the old mythos. mythos. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. For a timeless, dreamlike eon, Tommy Muldoon wanders through a perfect world where nothing, not even the donuts, taste right. Tommy Muldoon suffers two face down horror. Jeez. Who is it? Don't even get a chance. Damn. Yeah, I think it gets worse. Like the the events get worse and worse as you as you delay. So it kind of makes you feel the time. Yeah. Going quickly. The Dark Druid moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator. Then it attacks the investigator in its space who has suffered the most damage. Oh, that doesn't seem oh, fair. Oh, Agatha. Darn it. Okay. So Agatha, So he's going to attack Agatha. A rumbling sound behind you like, like a low... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. A rumbling so sounds behind you. A low growl like some primal predator. Suffer two damage and observation negates. Two damage. Sorry, there's a question chat, oh, uh, but I can roll it. Observation of Agatha is four. Wait, you want me to roll it? Didn't you say you... Oh, no, you did succeed, right? Uh, go for it. Yeah, we'll take turns with Agatha. Oh, God. Now I have all the pressure. One, two, three, four. Don't fucking fail, Deb. Whoa! Oh! Crit. Whoa! <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> all right. So Jesus, Agatha's on a fucking roll. Yeah, yeah. Team Agatha. So <laughs> Agatha, <laughs> yeah. Agatha and I each have to do a horror check. So all let's have Agatha go first, just in case. Before okay. your disbelieving gaze, the druid fades from this world like a shadow at dusk. The figure reappears suddenly, leaving you to question all that your eyes see. Suffer one horror. Observation negates. Okay, so observation four again. Do yeah. I roll it? Yeah. All right. I can't do it twice in a row, so. All, All right. right. Um. Yeah, actually, she only suffered one horror, so that's enough to negate it. Cool. Yeah. All right. So my turn. There is something to the figure's stance, something animalistic, some animalistic attitude that makes you doubt that man is anything but an ape. Suffer one horror. Lore negates. My, oh, great. My oh, lore is terrible. Not a smart guy. Yeah. Wait, you mean mesmerized? Let's and Boom. Yeah, I figured I'd have Gabe Let's... answer that. Gabe did it. So, yep, yeah, beat that. Because the mesmerized is at the end of your turn, an alien will take control, flip this card. But I don't know about hypnotized. Is that a thing somewhere? I think mesmerized is the only one... I okay. don't think there's a hypnotized yeah, Somebody in chat card. was asking what does it mean to get hypnotized in this game, and I didn't see a hypnotized card, so I didn't know if you knew, Gabe. So mesmerize. So it's kind of cool. There in this game, there's some there's cards that have different backs, and you don't know. For example, if you get if you go insane, you draw a random insane card. There's tons of insane cards. There's like 19. Each one's a different insanity that changes the end game of what you're trying to do. It could be uh, that you're doing like an ultimate betrayal of the other characters, or maybe it's just like a little thing like you have to have more items than everybody else because you're now a kleptomaniac or something. So there's some kind of cool insanities, and then Mesmerize is the same way. You have like a random event that happens to you, and it's kind of the cool way that they do the spells also. There's a random effect that will happen every time you cast a spell, so you don't know if you're going to take horror or maybe gain... Uh, some healing or something crazy it's kind of chaotic yeah so it's back to us all right well what did you did the, you guys fight in the druid want to go um yeah i could i could go because that way i've got i can see how well i do with becky and then that determine that can determine what everybody else wants to do yeah okay all right, so I'll go ahead and attack him with my firearm. Seeing movement in the corner of your eye, you spin, draw, and shoot from the hip. Test observation, and I want to get at least two. So my observation is four. four. Okay. And I can re-roll a die once per round, too. Oh, Whoa. Sick. Jeez. 
That's good. Uh, you, now ca- we're rolling. you catch an opponent sneaking up on you. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage, which oh, I think nice. is four, right? Becky? Yeah, hell yeah. Damn. Shotgun. Is he dead? Did we? Yeah. Because nice. she are, he already had th- three, uh, two hit points taken Heck. off. All right. Now we're in the clear. Let's go get some fucking clues. <laughs> yeah. Knock them out. Do you want to use the rest of yours to move since Agnes can pick up that? Yeah, that's thing? true. And move. So I'll be, I'll move up here. Okay. You want to just do Agnes's turn then? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So she's going to search that location. The desk is covered in a random clutter with within random clutter with a small space cleared in front of the chair for working. You dig through the dense paperwork for cluttering the desk. Gosh, I can't read through the dense pa- paperwork cluttering the desk looking for anything of interest. Someone want to roll for Agatha? What is what she is rolling? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Observation. Okay, she's got four of that. Four. Okay, I'll roll that. Three, four. Ouch. <laughs> Don't know if we want to spend a clue or not. Did we spend a clue? We could always do a whole other action. Same thing. That's true. Yeah, sure, save it. I, I don't think one success is probably going to do it. If we spend yeah. the clue. Alright. So we want to just. So fail. Out. And then second action? Yeah, yeah. let's do it again. You want to roll this time, Joe? Uh, okay. okay. I'll wait and see what the thing tells me. Hopefully it's. A... It's the same thing. Oh, it is? Yeah. A lot of times the search tokens have the same text. Oh. Oof. Okay, so I'll spin a clue. Better, yeah. yeah, make it two. As you shuffle through the seemingly endless paperwork covering the desk, you spot a withered journal that looks out of place amidst the mur- mundane clutter. The cover of the journal is marked Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain the old journal unique item and discard this search token. So anybody holding the old journal can read through its entries by interacting with it. And so basically takes an action to flip through the journal but it could lead to some beneficial clues, possibly. That's cool. Yeah, so I'll get the old journal. It's kind of cool because you have to take it with you, and you know, if you're just like standing around somewhere, you can take a look through it. I bet it's going to make you do it more than once, like yeah, several different I... times before you get everything from it. I can see that. It says, the journal entry in the culprit's own handwriting is practically a confession. Well, that's good. Agatha's got a little reading. Yeah, it's too bad people keep spawning in that fucking room. Yeah. Otherwise, she could sit there and read. Yeah. Just let her RP an old grandma. (laughs) I'm just reading my reading my soaps. (laughs) Is that pretty much cleared? It's all the upper stuff now. Yeah. So it's back to. Deb and I up here. Have I yeah. gone already? Yeah. yeah. You killed oh, him. I killed him. That's right. Yeah. All right. So, what do you guys feel like doing? Um. So I'm thinking, I can either in check this and then move toward the bookcase room, or I can check this and move toward Joe. So then Joe can check his thing and give me double clue. Um. Are you are you wanting to stay in the same room or move out of this room? Because I should go before you if you're planning Oh, that's right, because you have the range. I thought I had to be in your space for some reason. Okay, yeah, no, you go first then. Okay, uh, so yeah, my first action is to give Deb a clue, and she gets two. Cool. From that, that's always... That's our big combo. Yeah. Yeah. And then combo. I guess <laughs> I'm searching this messy paper area. All right. A desk sits against the wall, being used as an end table. It has several large drawers locked by a combination. You attempt to unlock the combination lock on the drawers. Here's the fun thing. I'm so glad we got it. Tap to attempt a puzzle using observation. Hell yeah! (laughs) Bad at puzzles. So basically how puzzles work is you... Whatever skill it, it tells you, that's how many turns you get or tries you get. For this particular puzzle, there's different ones in the game. It's a combination puzzle, so you have to guess what the three-digit number is for the uh, lock. 
and it will tell you whether you've got it in the correct position and the correct number or if it's just the correct number but in the wrong position or if it leaves it completely blank then you've gotten everything wrong oh boy so, yeah. so Joe you're combination lock? what's that is it like a one to nine combination lock Game. oh no there's one to five. Oh, okay yeah so Joe do you uh, how many observation do you have I have four but also some clues too yeah so yeah that's right you can spend clues for extra guesses do you have to do that in the beginning anticipating no. you'll need them no. or you can do it after you spend okay yeah you cool. can wait yeah so it's a three digit I just need to get the three digits yeah so you just tell me a three digit code you want to try and I'll just put the numbers three. in and anything correct will stay no it just will tell you down here in this big box what you got correct or what is, what's the right number but in the wrong position huh. so you just want to pick three numbers at first just to it, see there's no strategy like picking no. the same don't, three pick, don't pick the same number yeah three you times. it's probably a good sense. idea to pick three different numbers yeah at first for the first turn yeah yeah so like one two three yeah sure <laughs> then you want to you'll see if they're if they're yeah. used or not and then you yeah. can pick other numbers i think them. it's the dumb person who just <laughs> likes 123 that's the same combination as what's on my luggage my luggage combination. <laughs> so see joe the results told you that you have one number that's correct and in the right place and then one number that's correct but in the wrong place and then there's a third number that is not used at all So you kind of have to use logical thinking to figure out which, and, and more guesses, obviously. To... So one number correct and in the right position, and mm -hmm. then another one is just a correct number, but we don't know the position. Right. So, like, you could do, like, three, four, five for the next one. Or, like, four, five, three. And so, like, if, it, if three is the one that's in the right place, and you, I don't know, if you still had a pentacle... Then you'd know that. Well, I guess that wouldn't guarantee it. Shia says it's one four two. Do we believe him? <laughs> you want to try it? Does that sound like a decent guess, given what we do know? Because you guys can help me with this, right? Yeah. So basically, what we did here is we we kept the one. We're thinking if the one is right, it's in the right place, and the two is the right number, but we moved it. And we put one new m number in, because we're missing a right number. If this isn't right, it's Chia's fault. That's uh, right. How many guesses do you have? He has four. two. Yeah, Just four one. altogether. Okay. Ah, okay. So now there was only one number that was correct, but in the wrong place. So I, th so that means that. That two was in the right place. And that, one is not one of the numbers, right? think so or maybe it could be the one or that is in the three, wrong place or three could have been oh yeah yeah three could have been the one that was in the right place yeah and then one needs we'll do something like five one three and that'll tell you if that was right or not you want to try that joe uh the five one three will tell us what one do we think was the correct one in the correct place definitely not one it's not one. It could be two or three. Yeah. But if it is three, five, one, three will be the answer. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah, that sounds like good. So now we have two correct numbers, but they're just in the wrong place. So the... Yeah, it could be one and three are right. No, not... they're just in the wrong place. No, but because then the first one would have been wrong. Oh, but three, if, no. Well, it could be that, it could be there's repeating numbers, right? Yeah, that's true. Could be three, three, three. Or... It could be that four and three are correct. Oh, but three's not in the right place. So... We absolutely know the first position isn't one. So we know that right. one and three were yeah. not the ones in the right place. So two is the second number. Because we put one in the same place twice, and we lost the pentacle. And we put three in the same place twice, and we lost the pentacle. So the the pentacle means that two is the one in the correct position. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. 
So we okay. can put two in the middle confidently. We know that that's right. Okay. And then so we know that either one or three is also used again. And since we used two in the second one, it's not one. It has to be three. So three One's is not the first position. Three is the first one. Three in the first position? Three in the first position. Okay, I agree with that. And then... So five is the other number, because we know one isn't one of the numbers. Right. So it's three, two, five. Okay. Want to try it? Yeah, let's see what that does, and then I'll, I'll have some clues still. Boom! Hell yeah, Logic Queen, what's up, bitch? Yeah, I think Deb mostly did that. <laughs> I don't know if we're technically supposed to collab that much on puzzles. Yeah, it? it's it's technically supposed to be the person who solves it, but it was our first puzzle, so... Okay. Oh, I thought you said we could help each other. Well, because technically you're not in the same place, I guess. We're just in yelling. In the same space. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we're in the same room, though, at least. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, normally no, normally no only the player who does it, it does say yeah. that in the rules, oh, yeah. Oh, well, shoot, we should have... That's fine. Thought... No, no, I, it was fine for our first puzzle. It's okay, Kadashi's okay. Like, We're fine. Yes, I guess we might be getting yelled at, but sorry, <laughs> anyone who watches, we'll play it right from here on out. Well, yeah, and we're it was our two. This is our tutorial game, so okay, we got to sure. collaborate a little bit more. That was the tutorial puzzle. Now we'll be. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you figure out the combination, and the drawers pop open with an audible click. Inside, you find a grotesque statuette of an octopoid dragon, and something else that might be of use. Gain the mutation juice common item, the grotesque Ooh. stone unique item, and one clue. Oh, sick. I got rid of the search token. I assume I'm supposed to do that. So I'm getting you the mutation. I like the puzzles. They give you lots of stuff. Yeah, definitely. So here's the mutation juice, Joe. It says that as an action, you can improve your agility, then discard this card. Oh, yeah. I need agility boost. I think I'm terrible at agility. And the grotesque stone unique item. Oh, so it says that uh, thousands of thousands of years seem to be recorded in the statue's dim and greenish surface of unrecognizable stone. So it is, uh, yeah, some kind of clue. Ev uh, Agatha has the other clue. Yeah. Received, so we're on our way to these story clues. Does anyone have the ability to heal Agatha? Through? I do have the sedatives. Oh, oh, that might be a good thing to drop, and then Agatha can just pick it up. Yeah. Well, if we're if if we can get her to the same space, uh, she could trade. So she could move two oh. spaces and then come up and trade with me. Oh, okay. Maybe that'd be a good thing yeah. to do next turn for her. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's my idea for uh my turn because I haven't gone yet, right? Yeah. Right, you the last. Oh, does Joe have any actions left? No, he spent two. No, I gave her a clue. And oh, okay, okay, cool. So here's my thought. I move two spaces and investigate the bookcase, and then on my way back out, I can investigate the one by the two chairs, and next turn, Joe can potentially investigate the one that's in the same room. Yeah, that makes sense. I was going to investigate yeah. the one that's close Good. to me, but that doesn't. that makes less sense. Since the bookcase is, I think, a dead end, but it might not be, so we'll find out. And I think it has a puzzle, so... Oh, yeah. Definitely two. take it. <laughs> Don't let me have the puzzle. <laughs> All right. Peering behind the bookshelf of the robe, uh, the robe figure was moving, you see runic circles inscribed on the wall. Hell yeah. You push aside the shelf to reveal the ritual circles the butler spoke of. You attempt to trace them as he told you. Tap to attempt the puzzle using lore. I thought the butler told us the combination. What a jerk. <laughs> well, he told us where the key was, where the switch was. All right, my lore is four. So this puzzle, yeah, so this puzzle is interesting because you um, actually have to pick two pieces to switch. You can switch vertically or horizontally, that, and they have to be next to each other. Oh, and I can only do it as many times as there are. Yeah. I have, oh, I thought I had to roll something. Okay. No. Uh, and then I have two clues, so I get six. Right. Basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and you also have, have to, to kind of guess what the kind of what the picture is supposed to look like at the end. Yeah, it's gonna be a circle. For sure. So that one be if 
Okay, uh, I would like to move the top right one with the one below it. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just working with lag. Let's move the top middle one with the one below it. And then move the top middle one with the one to the left of it. And then the bottom middle one with the one to the left of it. And that's four. And that should do it. Damn. You're good at puzzles. Thank you. <laughs> nice work. You didn't even need a clue. Nah. No, I do those for fun. <laughs> I'm such a fucking nerd. Oh, God. You trace the right person. <laughs> you trace a continuous line through the winding markings as the butler instructed you. Oh, so he did apparently show you something? The runes, illuminated, the runes illuminate with a strange green light, and a wall panel pops open, revealing a secret door to a hidden study behind the wall. Gain one clue, then discard this switch token and or this search token and the wall. Oh, okay, I'll Ooh. just do the discarding. The secret panel in the wall slides open noiselessly, and you peer into a hidden office. Place the office tile and wall as indicated. Or I'm sorry, place the office tile and a wall. So keep that wall. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's okay. I'll get a new one. Office is a small rectangle tile. Yeah. And it's just called Office. Office, and then there'll be a little tentacle by the name. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just a regular small one. I'm not sure. Yeah, there, there won't be a tentacle because there, there's no tentacle. Oh, okay. They, they remove those probably. Office yeah. 32, mm -hmm. Office 55. No, like, character in the font for a tentacle. Yeah, there's four choices. I don't know which. Uh, what it, it looks like it's. Got, oh, I think I found it. There's a. Sorry. It's okay. Ugh. We need a puzzle. Uh, emote. Yeah. Chat. <laughs> Searching for puzzle bees. Uh oh. Yeah, we can use it for map tiles and for actual puzzles. It could be a Jiggy from, um, fucking, what the hell is that game? Banjo-Kazooie. The little Jiggies, and there's little puzzle pieces that have eyeballs. Oh, I never played that. <laughs> oh, that's a good game. should play that. That's old school, though. So, uh, yeah. Kind of those so. I remember it. Mm. All right. And then this... Okay. I'm so excited for that room. <laughs> it's in there. Anything good? Uh, looks like there's a search token on the left-hand space. It's a bookshelf filled with frightening objects that's mounted on the opposite wall. Place a search token is indicated. Sick. Okay. Uh, in the other space, there's another search token. An oak desk sits on the other side of the room. Sick. Yeah, so two, two new search tokens. Uh, okay. And then you can move one space into the explored area if you would like. Hell yes. Oh, nice. All right. Have you used a second action yet? Oh, yeah, you did to move in there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So is that all of us? Yep. That's okay. everyone. All right. So we're back to Mythos. Oh, uh, well, I guess we can finish this and then take a quick break. Yeah, that's true. Get to investigator phase. And... Yeah. Harvey Walters thinks he sees a shadowy creature stalking toward him. Test will. Oh, okay. And you want to try to get at least a two. All right. I got four. Ooh, I guess I should spin a clue. Might be good. I got two. 
All right. Uh, you realize it was just a trick of the light. Cool. Man, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pulled my mean, shadows again. You. I'm scared by light. Yeah, fine. A robed. Oh, no. <laughs> just my old man version. <laughs> A robed figure appears from a side door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There's someone here! You hear a muffled response from another part of the estate. Get rid of them! Spawn a dark druid. Uh-oh, uh, where? Uh, in the kitchen. He came in the back oh, door. Okay, cool. So not too bad. Uh, this no does cause... Uh, the robed figure sneaks into the dining room and comes face to face with Eugene. The butler yells out in fright and flees to the entryway. Okay. So he moves here. I can't let him die. That'd be bad, I'm sure. The dark druid moves two spaces toward the investigator. The nearest investigator, sorry. Then it attacks that investigator in its space who has suffered the least horror. Uh, yeah. So there's no investigators in the space. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range, so there are none. Okay, that's good. And so that's it. Back. I think we said fuck it to that knife, or someone would be <laughs> over there. <still. laughs> yeah. So it's back to our phase. Let's see if uh, Eugene has anything new to say. Ooh, so he says uh, he cower he's cowering in the doorway and saying, I think I know who they are, and we can ask who are they, but it takes a it takes an action to do that. Do we want to have Agatha do that? We could, first? yeah. Yeah. And then we can have her maybe move up a space with you. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Do that after break. Yeah, so we'll take a quick break and come back okay. and uh, hopefully get to the end of this investigation. All right, we'll see you guys back in just a few minutes. Cool.
Hello. Back. <laughs> yes, right? I felt like I hit something that I shouldn't have, but we're all right. We're all right. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's see. So we're starting at the top of the investigator phase. Do you want me to have her go first in case we can use that information she gets? Um, sure. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't sound bad. So she'll, she's going to do a move action, uh, move one space, and then Eugene seems to have something to talk about. So uh, we're, uh, he cowers in the entryway, and he says, I think I know who they are. We ask, who are they? He wipes his brow with a handkerchief as we approach. They've been Mr. Vanderbilt's guests in the past. They are members of the Astronomy Association. Gain two clues. They're nice. debt collectors. They're here to collect a debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's good. She's got some clues to help her out. Um... <laughs> my student loans are in default. <laughs> they're after me. Ah! <laughs> they're going to garnish my wages. This is real, real, real fierce. <laughs> so now all he says is, what are they doing to Mr. Vanderbilt? Please get to the bottom of this. So he's got nothing else, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Some clues. So we'll have uh, Agatha move on up here, and then that's the end of her turn. And I'll go. Um, I will trade items with her. And we said we were gonna give, uh, keep her with the journal, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if I have anything else I can do. I don't think I can. You could give her the thermos too. We're well, already focused. She's gonna heal completely. Oh, is she? Yeah. Okay. So I think. But she could focus we'll herself. To yeah, it. but yeah, you're right. Gabe, don't forget that you can re-roll a die once per round from oh, Becky. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't think we've used that. I wonder much. if that's just on combat rolls. It doesn't say so. Yeah. Okay. She she just just having her on strapped to my back. Yeah, you you're confident, eight. right? <laughs> yeah. It's just like a confidence booster. That's why that's why I think we need more guns with on people's backs. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! That's what yep. I tell my students all the time. Uh, <laughs> oh uh, man! All right. So that's it for him. I don't really have another action I can do. Hmm. Seems like. Should do something, figure something out. I mean, I could. The problem is, is that if she gets attacked, she might die. So I, I think it's probably you better just to wait. Okay. If you move down a space, oh. he'll come to you because you'll you'll be closer, right? And then he won't go into that same. Yeah, that's true. We'll okay. see if we'll see if. Uh, and then if it's he like doesn't move, bottom. which I doubt he will, I could barricade, but we'll see. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so that's if it. If you for barricade, me. It, then what happens is you have to destroy the barricade. Yeah, or you just he has can't. to try to break through, and there's a chance that he might not. It's it's kind of a little it's a little difficult for him okay. to do. Okay. That's cool. All right, so back to you guys, right? All right. Uh, so we didn't find anything out about the study, which is what I was hoping we would. Um. So let's see. Can we click on these two things again? I feel like the one that's in my space is the one we want to look at first. Uh, it says the shelf is lined with curiosities from the mundane to the horrifying. As you scan over the various items that your, your eyes fall on an urn marked Lilith Vanderbilt, 1856 to 1925, you pick up the urn and find it filled with ashes. So you can either, as an action, smash the urn or leave it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh, wasn't that the journal? I have a hunch that there's yeah. a key in the urn, right? Are there keys in this? Whew, I don't know. I don't know the if we need a key. The journal was Lilith's, but... wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And she was also in the picture, one of the pictures we saw at the beginning, something like that. Damn, I bet the journal would tell it, would have given us, you think, information on whether we smash it or not. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's something in it if we need to smash it, right? Like, that's the only thing that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. That there would be something in the ashes hidden, and the only thing that makes sense to hide in there would be like a key or something. What does the other one say if you click on it? 
The other one says, uh, the oak desk has been kept in good condition. A number of papers and books are neatly stored on the desk's, desk's surface. Okay, I'm gonna investigate the urn. I think we should smash the urn. <laughs> All right. You smash the urn in a cloud of ash and broken porcelain. The room seems to chill as you find an object amidst the ashes. As you pick it up, you hear the sound of a woman weeping. Gain the King James Bible common item, then discard the search token. Bible okay. in there? Okay. I didn't even have to do a check. Cool. Alright, what's that Bible do? Let's see. King James Bible. I hope it gives me like a permanent stat upgrade. That'd be dope. Like lore plus one or something. You or another investigator within range may discard one face down horror for an action. Oh shit, I'm gonna use it immediately then and get rid of one of my horror. And you that'll be my other action. Okay. I already think it costs oh it is an action, okay. Okay. Then All right, so that. I guess the card goes away. Cool. Oh, no it doesn't. You don't have to discard okay. the card. Oh she gets to Oh get... cool <laughs> Oh my wow. god, yes. Cool. Oh, okay, I, I get it, because it's a it's a Bible. So I'm praying. Yeah, the Bible goes on forever, man. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I think I'm the last. Yep. Uh, should I just pick this clue up? I might as well, right? Yep. Or you've uh, got these rooms to explore. Yeah. I guess I was thinking we'd all kind of gather here. Yeah, soon, that's fine. And then we do them. Um, okay. Why not? I'll move and get that one. All right. A stack of papers has been strewn about the floor. Do you want to search them? Sure. Amidst the mundane paperwork, you find a withered page covered in a strange script. Someone has scrawled a note in English across the top of the page. Speak these words for great power. Do you oh, want yeah. to recite the script or return the papers? Oh, of course I'm going to say it without thinking. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Living on the edge. <laughs> the eldritch words take on a life of their own as you speak them, reshaping your mind with new understanding of the script you are looking at. The lights flicker and you hear a whisper in your ear. Power comes with a price. Gain the Azure Flame spell, then discard the search token. Cool. Now you have a spell. Yeah. Sounds good. So you basically get to, I'll shuffle, pick uh, and then you'll just draw one card out of the Azure Flame stack. Uh, don't cool. look at the back, because it'll okay. be a random Need result. to get this to Agatha. So at any time, you can cast this spell. You have a pretty good lore, too. You can cast this spell, and it's basically like a ranged weapon. Oh, okay. But it's also a light source, which is cool. You treat it as a light source, so it's constantly glowing in your hand. Oh, very oh. cool. All right. So that's it, right? For your everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mythos. You could not pinpoint when it crept up on you, but now a heavy a heavy apathy consumes your thoughts. This mythos event affects the investigator who suffered the most horror. Uh, I have two. I have two also. It's like Ev has more. Okay, so we just get to pick which one of us yeah, does yeah. it. Well, I have the ability to get rid of horror, so I'll take it. Okay. Why fight these overwhelming forces? Nothing you do will ever make you, will ever make enough difference. Suffer two horror unless you discard an improvement. Oh. What's an improvement? Will? Just one of these uh, things. It's one. It's that token you got that improved your will. Oh, fuck no. I'll take two horror, thanks. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of that. Jesus. So it's two face up horror? Uh, it's a, yeah, so two horror, so it is face up. Wait, face up? Yeah. Oh, they don't but. they don't necessarily um they aren't necessarily bad. Like some of them will say like just like that one. Yeah, no oh, additional right. effect flip it face down. Breath catches. Okay. Flip so the start face down. Yeah. Okay. Back down. And then <sighs> There you go. Okay. Whew. Two Spoke. minor shocks that ended up being nothing. All right. 
All right. Uh, the dark druid moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator. Then it attacks the investigator in its space who has suffered the most damage. Okay. Uh, so I'm the nearest investigator. Right. I guess that's good because it would have attacked Agatha. So it attacks right. me. The druid roars with bestial fury and slashes at you with hands like claws. Test suffer two damage and strength negates. So my strength. Oh, nice. You're good at that. Four. Nice. Ouch. Ugh. Well, you can spend a clue to get one. Yeah. So I take one. Yeah. I take one damage. Uh, so. It's a minor injury, only a flesh wound. Flip it face down. It's okay. Oof. Okay. That's good. And so. Then uh, Agatha and I both have to suffer a horror check. So I'll go ahead and start. The druid holds a twisted effigy of wood and feathers aloft and sets it aflame. Test will. And I want to try to get a two. Damn, you only got three. All right. Ah. You've got Becky the reroll, right? Yeah, and the You're also clip. focus. Yeah, that's true. You automatically win with your focus. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right. So I passed it. I scoff at my own brief twinge of fear. <laughs> So now, Agatha, before your disbelieving gaze, the druid fades from this world like a shadow at dusk. The figure reappears suddenly, leaving you to question all that your eyes see. Suffer one horror, observation negates. Oh, nice. Agatha's four. You want to yeah. roll it or you want me to? I can grab it. Just need one, right? Yep. Cool. Okay. Not all enough right. to So that's the end Jeez. of that. So much. She's been around for like oh. half of an eternity. Doesn't she get stuff? She's been around. After, that's what after I. After you resolve a horror, gain a clue. So there's a clue for. Her. Oh yeah. Oh well, then she should have at least one more clue because she had the other guy. Oh yeah, that's right. Before. Okay. And it I just got says that. resolve, not succeed. So. Yeah. Right. She's yeah, pretty cool that way. All right. So. Basically, um, I do you guys want care if I go first? I can attack him twice with Becky. Yeah, see go for it. See what happens. Yeah, see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to attack him with a firearm. You train your eyes on your target and squeeze off a shot. Test agility, and I want to get at least a two. Okay, agility's pretty good. Is it four or five? Four. Uh, so I got two investigation. You can re-roll with Becky if you want. Yeah, to try I'm going to do that. Days. All right. So then I just spend my last clue and I pass. The impact staggers your foe. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. So four. Damn. And then I'll attack again. You train your eyes on your target and squeeze off a shot. Test agility again. So that's four. Ah, uh, <sighs> dang it. Well, don't forget Becky. No, that's oh, only once per, once per round. round. Okay. So you totally missed, or? Yeah. My Wait, you didn't use goes Becky, though. Yeah, you I think I rerolled one. Thing. No, I, no, you used that other thing that rerolled both of them with the focused. You didn't use Becky. That was for my horror check. Yeah. I know. And then he attacked know. once and used the Becky reroll. Yeah. Oh, you did it just now? I did it on the my, my first attack, first and I just did a second oh. attack and only got one success, so. Sorry, I wasn't I didn't pay attention to the first one. <laughs> I was typing a check. All right. That's it for me. What are you thinking with Agatha? Uh, she needs to use her sedatives. Oh, yeah, that happens automatically. Oh, yeah, it doesn't cost then... an action. She could do a journal. Oh, yeah. She could even double journal. 
That's sure. right. It's not up to much. Let me. Hey, uh, Joe, would you mind taking the horror and the damage, and I'll do the journal. But, uh, do you just make a discard pile up in the? Oh, put Does it. Does the synonyms get rid next of to the death? Bit? Yeah, three horror oh, wow. and three damage. Yeah. That's broken as fuck. All right, so she's gonna check the journal. The journal is li of Lilith Vanderbilt. The pages are torn and frayed from hard use. You turn to an entry from several years ago. William has gotten increasingly secretive since he started that astronomy association. He's been working on some secret project in the tower and even installed a lock and an alarm to keep people out. What he does not know is that I have found the wiring he installed in his bedroom in the back of the house. I can use it to unlock the door to the tower when he's gone. Gain one clue. Nice. Gosh, she's got a lot of clues. Mm. The journal entries continue on for several months. You can continue reading as another action. So do you want to do that for a second? One thing uh -huh. we can, but we also want to remember she's also got that feed the mind. She could focus you. It was really good to have you focused, but... Either one's good. I'm just saying we shouldn't forget to refocus. Yeah. It. Oh, I don't know. If now's a good time, or do you want to do another journal? Well, he he only has one hit point left, so I should be able to kill him. Okay. So so another journal, then maybe yeah. she can focus you next time. Yeah. Yeah, she okay. could always go first next time. Yeah. Sounds good. You flip forward several months through the entries. The writing gets increasingly frantic and haphazard. A photograph falls from between the pages. The photo shows several men in fancy suits and reads Vanderbilt Astronomy Association. There are also some strange markings on the photo that might help your investigation. I found William's book of cults garbage. William's friends threaten me again. I fear not for myself, but for us all. Riley Wog Fatagan suffer one horror and gain the photographic evidence unique item. Face up for Yeah. Do we know how we win this? Not yet. Yeah. Okay, while well, you're looking for the item, she got a oh, sudden boy. shock. Grasping in surprise and fear, you clutch at your face, forgetting for a moment what you had been holding only seconds before. Resolve immediately. Drop two random items, then flip this card face down. All right, so I'll f I'm so stack them all. Yeah, I don't. So including the spell? No, uh-uh. Right? Okay, yeah. cool. Not the journal, right? Is that? Yeah, I think it does count. I think common items and unique items are count. So t it says two items, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, well, she can just pick them up. Yeah. They don't get deleted. Yeah. They're just True. on that space. So she can just pick up both of them in one action, right? Yeah. Okay. So next turn, she can do that and read again. Drop some more shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, and you got... Uh, did you get the unique item? Uh, I, I was doing the horror Well, I thought okay. you were grabbing it Well. I can I grab can't... it. Oh, okay. Wait, uh, how does she have five horror again? She's got five health and eight sanity. No, why? She has a stack of five horror down here. What is? Why is it five? Oh, she I pulled a horror out and huh. did it get... Well, I guess the rest of them need to go back. Okay, so, so it it's should probably be... the one on the bottom. Yeah. That was the one we looked at. Why does it yeah. do that? Yeah, sudden shock. I don't know. All right. So what is the photographic Maybe evidence? And then it's just a, another green item. The proof can be seen clear as day, it says. So it's another yeah. quest item, okay. I think. Cool. Uh, let's see what it says. The madness continues for pages, but right at the end, a single entry stands out, written in an unsteady hand. It will not be long now. When I pass, I want my ashes spread along the coast. I have always loved the sea. Gain one clue. <laughs> or you can have your ashes smashed by Deb <laughs> in a room. Did you give her a clue? Yep. All right. It looks like there's nothing more of interest in the journal's pages, so we're done with the journal. Oh, don't pick that up then. Leave that. But there is the was... circumstantial yeah. evidence. True. Cool. All right. So that's it for Agatha. Is there anybody else left? Wait, there's no more in the journal? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. 
uh, Deb and I, right, are both left to go. Oh, okay. I'm thinking I'm going to move down and shoot you a clue, Gabe. You're out. But I don't know if... I just got to pop in that room and do it real quick. Um, what do you think? Sure. It's fine with me. Yeah, you could always go here, and then that way you can go up and open the doors next round. Yeah, I'm going to go one, two, and I might even give Agatha the spell next turn, but uh, for my second action, I'll give you a clue. Yeah, see, Joe, if you do a trade action, you can pick up these cards and trade with her. Oh, okay. Or she That's could do that, too. Do. Yeah. Okay. So, you got one clue, Gabe. I'll put it in your bowl. Oh, thanks. Um, and that's all I did, moving that. All right. Deb? All right, so I'm going to move here and search this, and then probably move back to the other space. All right. The oak desk has been kept in good condition. A number of papers and books are neatly stored on the desk's surface. On the desk, you find what a, what looks like a personal planner. As you pick up the book, a brass key clatters from between the pages. You turn the page it had been holding and find a note scrawled there. If the alignment truly weakens the veil, I believe that is the only moment we have to break through. I will make the necessary preparations in the tower. Gain the brass, brass key and incriminating evidence unique items. Cool. All right, so brass key... Taking the search probably, that probably opens the tower door if there's a door to the tower. Yeah. And tokens discarded, incriminating I guess. evidence, which says you thought the man seemed suspicious, but here's the proof. We got all the evidence. We got a lot of those. Yeah, now. we surely have gotten. Um, you all you place the planner back into the desk and search through the drawers. You find some things of use, but no additional evidence. Gain the whiskey common item. Oh, that'll be good. Okay, I bet I'll that grab that. Gives you back some health. Do, do, do. Whiskey. You can, as an action, discard it to discard up to two face down horror. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't see it. Is it not? It's with... right here. Oh, you got it. All right. Take that. Damn, Dev's cleaned up on that desk search. All right, I'm going to go back here, and then that's my turn. Okay. So that's everybody, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Mithros. Electricity crackles in the air. The Amythos event affects each investigator in the kitchen. So I think we're all out of there, right? Yeah. Nice. Right. So no effect. Cool. You start to hear the sound of voices chanting in unison from another part of the estate. The ritual is nearly complete. Someone stop them. Spawn a dark druid as indicated. Oh, Fuck. in the entrance. I knew there was going to be another one coming in because uh -oh. that guy. I feel like they're going to chase him around. All right, so we got a second dark druid. This one's a a red dark druid. What the fuck does that mean? It just separate. It identifies him. Oh, I see. As separate from the other guy. Okay, for his like attacks and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Uh, as the cultist bursts into the entryway, Eugene rel yells with fright, Not again! Move Eugene to the study. Huh. I wonder why he's going in there. Well, I'm not going to talk to him if he's got more to say now. <laughs> the dark druid moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator, then attacks the investigator in its space with, it, with the lowest will. So it's just me. Both of them attack you, I yeah. guess. Well, yeah, we have to wait and see what the other one says. Um, unleash the beast within, growls the druid, blowing a pungent smoke at you with a bird's wing. Okay. Test <laughs> will, and I gotta get at least two. Damn, yours is three. Alright. Well, you got Bet Betsy. That's true. Becky. <laughs> Whoops, two, right? I won't count this third one. Alright, but I do have a clue, thanks to Joe. Yeah. So yeah. I'll pass it. You knock the smoldering herbs from the cultist's hand. Wait, isn't this the... Oh, you already... Never mind. Yeah. So now the other druid is going. He moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator and attacks. Yeah. 
The druid mutters a short incantation and spits on the ground, which disintegrates into muck and quicksand. The more you struggle, the more trapped you become. Suffer two face down horror, will negates. Damn, will again? Yeah. What's my will? Three? Three. Ah. Ooh, one. So one face down horror. I'll get that. Face down is not bad. Not yeah. so bad, anyway. Alright, so. If you suffer one or more horror, your thrashing causes you to sink faster, become restrained. Oh, so you're not moving. Yeah, but I think I'm probably going to try to attack as much as I can anyway. Yeah, I think I got to help you too. But yeah, I probably will need some help. Okay, now you got to do two horror checks? Uh, we well, all do. Uh, yeah, all three of us. Oh. So I'll go first. <laughs> We don't, no, we only have to do one. You only ever have to do one horror check against the monster with the highest horror. Okay, good. But since the druids are both the same, it just is just one druid check. Oh, okay. For each of us? Okay. Yeah. So I'll take the first one. Blood bubbles out of the druid's mouth, either from an old wound or perhaps a recent meal. <laughs> the savage grin makes your veins run cold with fear. Flip two horror face up. Oof. Oh, so two, two and half four, up. yeah. That sucks. All right. Discard. Okay. It, it, discard one improvement, then discard this card. So I regressed, but I didn't have an improvement. And then disoriented. Your wits desert you, leaving you mumbling and uncertain. How could you have just what you seen being real? Become dazed, then flip this to face down. So I'm also dazed. Here's your dazed card. All right. Well, the good thing about being dazed is I don't have any clue tokens anyway, so. Damn. I guess I can do, let's do Agatha's horror check next. Okay. The druid takes a deep breath, then howls a long, mournful wolf cry, utterly inhuman in its terrible beauty. Suffer two horror, will plus one negates. Ooh, that's five. Okay. If you want to roll it. Yeah. Oof. Uh, I'll spend one clue. Got plenty. So yeah. I got the clue. All right. So yours, Joe? Yeah. Before your disbelieving gaze, the druid faces, fades from the world like a shadow at dusk. The figure reappears suddenly, leaving, leaving you to question all that your eyes see. Suffer one horror. Observation negates. Oof. Four. Okay. All I need is one. Come on. Don't be mean. There we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's the end. Now we're back to our phase. We've got some killing to do. Exactly. Do you want me to go first? Um, I could attack the new guy with his spell. Sure. Yeah, because it's a ranged weapon. You can hit him right from where you are. Um, yeah, so I guess I do it. All right, so how that works is we bring up the monster just like attacking normally. And you're attacking the new guy with the red guy, right? The red. Yeah, because you only have one damage left on yeah. that one yeah. guy. And then you basically just pick that you're attacking with a spell, and it'll give you a random story. Okay. You race through the incantation and the active gestures, putting your own improvised spin on the magic words. Test lore plus one. Nice. Five. Let's get a lot. I want to knock him out in one shot. Okay, Ooh. I'm going to spend one clue to make that a perfect roll. Yeah, Sick. because uh, basically you're going to do damage equal to the test result. Yeah, baby. I know how to work spells. One shot him? That's dope. Yeah. So, Ow. Joe, not only did you one shot him, so now the thing with spells is you now have to flip the spell over and do what it says on the back. Oh, okay. Which, uh, so there's a random the... effect. Sorry. Casting. Uh, the words of the spell seem to rebel against your control. Suffer so one horror unless you place fire in an adjacent space. Oof. Then discard this card and gain another Azure Flame spell. Unless you place... I'll take a horror. Yeah. Yes. So does that mean you could put fire in here? Yeah. <laughs> does it spread? Yeah. That's why yeah, I don't even want it to start. I do have an extinguisher, but I have to spend an action to get rid of fire with it. I don't, I'm not missing anything. I think I could take one. Okay. okay. Uh, it's not face down, though, so hopefully this isn't... 
It's a minor shock, so flip the face down. There we go. Cool. And now I need another Azure Flame. I'll grab that. I like the spells in this. They're pretty fun. Yeah. I like that they have random consequences. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, that brand new magic. I gotta learn it. Now you've probably got... Hmm, probably got that guy under control, you think? Should I pick up, like, the circumstantial evidence well remember if you trade you can give her was there something you were going to give her i was going to give her the spell but the spell's mine now <laughs> yeah, that's true awesome uh actually let's do this can i trade with her and pick up the circumstantial yeah, yeah. anytime you do a trade action you can do any of those things yeah, so it says pick up and drop possessions in your space and trade with other investigators in your space not only am i picking up the circumstantial but i'm taking the candles from her so if I do the spell again, <laughs> it'll be really good. Poor old lady. Well, that's what Evan gets for not being here. He gets ransacked. <laughs> well, don't forget yeah. you get the old journal, too, just for old time's sake. Oh, I do. Okay, sure. Why not pick that up? Uh, but that's everything I got. Okay. And then do we want to... I could go ahead and go. Okay, yeah. Just so we see what the other attack is. The gun shakes and roars in your hands. Test agility, and I want to try to get at least a two. So I have four. Come on. Ooh, no clues. Damn. But I can re-roll once with Becky. And I couldn't use a clue anyway because of my dazed. So I'll re-roll okay. with Becky. Ah. Damn, damn, damn. All right, so I'll do another attack. You swallow your fear and hold your weapon steady in your hands. Test will, which is three, and i got to get two successes. Oh, damn. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. My hands are trembling too much to take a shot. Okay. So I think Agatha's going to have to come down here and punch him. <laughs> Wait, why couldn't... Oh, because you don't have any clues. Okay. Yeah, and I'm restrained, so I couldn't move, and I couldn't use clues because I'm dazed. Oh, I didn't know you were dazed, too. That yeah, was... but I got rid of him, so... Okay. okay. Yeah, I guess we could have her go down there. Hopefully nothing spawns in her right on top of you guys. Wait, doesn't she have a spell? Is it not ranged? Oh, she could focus. Yeah. She should be pretty good at attacking because she's got clue tokens, too. And she's got the lantern. Yeah. Okay. Me. So I'll move her down there. We can move her back after she's done attacking, too. Yeah. You're I was just thinking it might be good to, like, uncover the room up top. Yeah. For her. How much health I, does this guy have? I just don't want to get attacked again. He's only missing one hit point. All we have to do is one hit point of damage. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. Uh, you're certain that if if you can drive the pain of your injuries from your mind, you will last long enough to strike back. Test will. Okay. She's four. And plenty of clue tokens. That's doesn't, probably good. Doesn't need them. You pass. An opening comes mercifully soon, and you throw your weight behind a vicious elbow. <laughs> She does it again. That's yeah. Yeah, the so monster suffers two damage. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. And then she can move back. Yeah. And then, like Deb said, next time, hopefully we'll be in position to yeah. run up and get those. Yeah. All right. I'm going to come down and get this last clue. All right. A large scroll showing the solar system is sprawled across the pile of books. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. The scroll is marked with the orbits of the eight planets. A straight line is drawn out across them from the sun, marked with today's date and the words planetary alignment. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. It says oh. eight planets? Pluto! <laughs> no! Oh, my God. My God. What the fuck? Wait, would this have been before they discovered this it the first time? Oh, I don't know. What year is this That's supposed to take question. place? Uh, in the 1920s. Oh, yeah. Probably. When was Pluto discovered? 
1930, so it would have been after. Yeah. Alright. Here's your clue, Deb. I don't know if you gave yourself one. Wait, for what? You got a clue from that search. Oh, cool. Yeah. Did I get anything else, or that was it? No, that was it. That was it. Alright. So okay. that's all of us, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're all gonna converge in that area now. Yeah, like finally. Run investigate. The corridor in front of you twists and stretches on forever. It is impossibly long. Each impossible. Each investigator in a hall or alley suffers two horror. Will negates. No one's in the hall. Nice. Sick. Very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. And there's no monsters. So and no now... one's moved on to the <laughs> And now you will pay the price for that power. The lights oh. flicker and the air crackles with electricity. Suddenly, reality seems to split before you, and a terrifying creature slips through from an unknowable space beyond. Spawn a deep one. Where so, Joe because I used the spell, I brought a monster? Yeah. Ooh. Where is it spawning? Uh, where Joe read it. Uh, well, give me one second. Deep one. Ouch. That's not right. Deep, just the deep one. right here that's not good yeah what does that thing do it uh eats my bullets <laughs> oh the sound of a woman weeping drifts through the mansion halls and the air grows icy cold the ashes strewn about the office stir and a ghostly figure rises from the shattered remains of the oh urn God, i'm not in that fucking room anymore spawn a ghost is indicated then each investigator suffers two horror will negates you have to be in the room, though, right? No, it doesn't say. It just says each of us suffers two horror. Okay, so everybody has to roll. So uh, Deb and I are both in trouble for our shenanigans. Because that's her ash, broken yeah. ash jar, and I brought the guy with the spell. <laughs> my, will, my will is four, so I'm going to roll. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to spend a clue to... It was two, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Choose all negate all that next uh i'll do agatha's i guess yep she has four also four and damn two clues yeah, yeah let's do it she's got plenty so she negated hers and then i roll three Okay. Nice. I nice. Am I going to be the only idiot? I have four also. Well, you have clues, don't you? Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, Oof. I'm just kidding. You won't be fine. Do you have a <laughs> reroll of some kind? No, I don't think I have any kind of reroll. So Jeez. I just take one. Right. Face up. <clears throat> face up four? Yeah. All right. Wait, why have you not used your mutation juice yet? Just haven't had opportunity. Oh, because okay. oh, it takes an action, right? Yeah. yeah. Recent memories claw their way to the surface despite your best efforts. Flip one other horror face up, then I discard it. Okay, so that's going to go away, and then I flip this up. No effect, flip face down. Okay. So screw cool. you. All right. Yeah, Can that's nice. All right, so what happens now? The deep one moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator. <laughs> that's me. Is it or, or is actually, it actually everybody's tied. You guys are tied. Yeah. So we gotta decide. How many Just one or two? Two. No, he would move here because we are closer than Deb is, right? No, it's We're two either way. Because I'm I'm here and you guys are here. Oh. It's the It'll... ghost I was looking at, okay. Oh. Yeah, okay, sorry. He's already gonna come for me, so why don't we move that with them? Yeah, sure. With the spellcasters. <laughs> Uh, who okay. has the lowest observation? Uh, I have... Between you and Agatha. Four observation, I have four, and I think she has four. So, whoever, yep. whichever of you wants to, to have an attack. Um, we're well, both, both tied. tied. So. She, she's fully rested. Or... Yeah, let her take... That's what Evan gets for not being here. He gets punched. <laughs> The Deep One catches you unawares and pins you down. A repugnant, fishy saliva drips from its pointed teeth. Test Will 2. Ooh, 6. 
We don't know six. how many I want to get. Jesus, she has six? Are you kidding? That's insane. Will plus two is six, right? Wait. Oh, no, no, no Will no, no. two. Just Will. Yeah, so just delete the last yeah. two. So she still succeeds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You pass and maintain your composure and throw the creature off. All right. Okay. Cool. The spirit... Okay, great. Uh, sinks into the ground, disappearing from sight. After a few moments, it, it, the specter reappears. The ghost moves to Mandy Thompson's space. Then it attacks her. <laughs> Ash hates you. Jarbreaker. That's what you get. With a single-minded determination, the specter calls out over and over, begging and screaming for your soul. Test uh, leadership. Or Wait. influence, sorry. Influence. It's crazy. And you want to try to get a two. Oh, okay. She's got decent influence. I have two clues, so I will spend them both. <laughs> you confront the spirit, and your words seem to have a palpable effect. The monster suffers one damage. Cool. Wow. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I also have a Bible, so fucking get wrecked, fam. <laughs> yeah. Each <laughs> investigator... Goddamn Bible. Yeah. So I think Deb has to do a horror check against the ghost, and we all have to do a horror check. The rest of us have to do a horror check against the deep one. Oof. Who wants okay. to go first? Uh, Just, we I'll could do start one for... against the ghost. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The hungry spirit demands your attention. Suffer three face down horror. Influence negates. Okay. Ouch. Oh my fucking god. Oh wow. Oh boy. And because you suffered one or more horror, the apparition seems to have a grip on your soul, becomes stunned. Oh, that's not good. Let me find a stunned card. Okay. When you suffer one or more horror while resolving a horror check, gain one clue. Okay. I have the Tome of Horror, so I'm gonna take a clue. Here's your stunned. Thank you. What does that do? One, oh, only I can only one do action. one action. Jeez. That sucks. Oh my god. And Let's I have do... three more fucking Oof. horror. Let's All do right. Agatha's horror right. check. What happens when I hit my horror threshold? Uh, you have to take an insanity. And then that's your new agenda. Oh, so this... I've been tracking horror with the sanity thing. Is that different? Yeah, you sanity? basically reset your sanity. And you lose oh, all your okay. horror cards. So it's like you basically go back to the start, except now you have an insanity and you have to do what it says on the back without telling anybody. Okay, well, all right. So Agatha says, gurgling to itself, the Deep One sinks into the shadows and attempts to hide. Test observation. Okay, that's four. Hmm, two. Yep, you keep track of the creature's movements, ever wary. Okay. So Maybe now... You can do yours. Okay. You notice the oddly slick sheen of the Deep One's flesh as its bulging eyes turn toward you. It blinks twice, once with its normal eyelids and another with a translucent, translucent pair. Suffer two horror, will negates. So I have you guys remember me. that in Men in Black? He blinked with one set of eyelids, and then he blinked with a separate set of eyelids. <laughs> I do. Ooh, three successes. Look at, man, look at nice. that. So, it's Joe? Just mine. Yeah. The deep one opens its mouth, and a choking wet song emerges from its throat. It has no so human sound, but you feel the creature's yearning, fear, and hate in every note. Suffer two horror will negates. Okay, so I got four. Uh, so yeah, I'll spend one clue. Make it two. Alright, and that's... Oof. We gotta get moving. I got a feeling every Mythos, they're gonna make sure we have monsters <laughs> yeah. in our face. Damn. Because we had it clear. Now look at this. I know. So. Alright. Well, I don't know who wants to go first, but amongst our group down here, Dave, I could do my spell again first to see how much damage I do, since I've clues and things yeah if you want because i'm probably i'll go next 
because I... You gotta I, be great if you guys could kill that thing and then come help me with this witch since I can only do one action this time. Yeah. Okay, well, let me see. Maybe I'll get lucky and then, Gabe, you can move. Um, so, yeah, I'll attack him with the Azure Flame again. Okay. He has seven hit points. Oof, okay. You trace a mystic sigil in the air, letting your mind expand into it. Test lore, and you want to get at least a two. Okay, I got four. I want to make sure everybody reads. Okay, so four. All right. Okay. The nice. Sure, I don't. Sure, I don't need more to do more damage or something. Nope. If okay. you the pa you pass and the curse bursts from you, the monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage. Cool. So it's ah, it's only two. <laughs> then flip the spell you attacked with. Uh, the fire you cast grows brighter, drawing your vitality into its glow. Flip one damage and horror face up, then discard. I don't know. Oh, well, there's my horror, and it goes back face down again. <laughs> That's uh, not bad. That's the best horror to have. Yeah. And then you get another spell. So, um, should I attack again? Or yeah, what sure. Do you Okay. Yeah, because yeah, we might need to comp combine. Okay, I guess I'll do another spell again. Wish it would have done more damage. All right. You bring the heels of your palms together and draw them back, a ball of glowing energy coalescing in your hands. You speak the words to power oh, the curse. <laughs> Test lore. Lore again, four... Ooh, nice. Do I want to convert that or? Uh, need... yes, if you can. Okay, I'll spend a clue. So, all right. Uh, you thrust your hands forward, and the energy streams from them. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. Then move the monster one space away from you. Cool. I'll move him into the grave because that's five, right? Was it five damage? Yeah. Three results plus my spell. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. Oh, I'll move you many spaces away, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Into the hell space. All right. But that was it for me, but at least it frees you guys up. All right. Well, the only problem is that I can't move. I can... Oh, I'll... sorry. You go ahead. I'm going to do another flame. I had to flip it and stuff. Oh, go ahead. No, it was no effect. So go ahead and I'll get another Azure flame. All right, so I, I can't move enough to do damage, though. Hmm. Can you move in the room and soak some hits? Yeah. At least. I don't know, that might help, Dev. I'm going to yeah. sit in this chair. Okay. All right. All right. Has, has Agatha moved yet? Uh-uh. Okay. We could have her she... go up and open these doors. I do. You want us to do that? You want me to do that now? Move in and attack it, maybe. I don't know how. Oh yeah, she could. She could move in, and. You uh... know, if we attack or just get rid of my horror. Let's see. I'll attack with Agatha. She's uh... got the kerosene Ooh, lantern as always. Yeah. All right, unarmed. You grip the apparition by the shoulders and speak directly to its horrible, horrible face. Wait, how do you grip an apparition? <laughs> yeah. oh, what happens? Test uh, influence, and you want to get at okay. least. Two. What does she have? Three. Her influence. Oh, I thought. It, oh, it's not. Oh, it's not great. I guess she's old and feeble. Oh wow. Oh shit. Good work. Not so old and feeble. <laughs> Fucking proc in the house again. The thing remains solid long enough for you to, to remind you that it is already dead. The monster suffers three damage. Nice. Ah. It, it's down to just one hit point. Okay, cool. That is perfect because now I can attack it without um, feeling bad about not drinking my whiskey. So. Yeah. Alright. So I will attack it <laughs> i'm scared all right uh do you have uh, you're unarmed yeah okay well these items are not nothing's a weapon <laughs> in lieu of making another useless attack you drop to your knees before the spirit and beg it to depart test influence and you want to get at least a two 
All right, I've got four and two clues, so. Okay. All cool. right. Nice. Something in its eyes seemed to remember pity. The monster suffers two damage. That's kind of Ooh. fitting. Yeah. yeah. You're like, okay, look, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I didn't mean to break your face. <laughs> I did, but, you know. Well, it, gave me, it gave me two of those. I wonder if it, like, keeps track of, like, who broke it, and it's like, okay, we're going to give you the, like, apology one. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. All right. Yeah. So that's good. We kind of cleared everything up a little bit. Yeah, until mm -hmm. right now. They're going to spawn eight guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do the that. The whole cult burst in through the doors you have not investigated yet. <laughs> yeah. All Deploy right. eight fucking cultists. Do we want to do more, or do we want to end it? Well, we can finish the mythos phase at the end of the round, and then we could just save this for our the end of our one-off when we come back from our break. Our two-week break. Yeah. Or... Okay. Because I think like you... when Deb comes back in November tenth is what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Because I think it'll. I think the rest of it's gonna take a while. Because I, I. I'm pretty sure we have like a big final fight yeah okay yeah sorry guys it'll be a substantial break but we'll do a good recap hopefully. yeah so let me do the mythos phase which is the end of the round and then we'll okay finish up the lights flicker and then go out place darkness in each space in the hall corner one and the office okay this mythos event affects each investigator in a space with darkness well, Joe's got the light, so we can't forget that. Yeah. So, see, where's Hall Corner 1. Uh, it should be one of those tokens in the top. Uh, I think it's the... Yeah, it's the opposite of the fire tokens. So, this... Oh, oh, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Okay. Hall oh, Corner we'll 1. Through Hall Corner 1. As long as someone has a light... Uh, where's where's the office? Is it's it... this up here. Oh, okay. Where the ghost came from. So that's fine. We don't care about that place. Yeah. If someone with a light goes in there, does it just dispel? Yeah. That? It, yeah. So there's no technically no darkness in there if someone has a light. So no, there is does no. Does it come back if they move out of the yeah. space? Yeah. Yeah. It's still there. It just doesn't count if someone is with the lights in there. Okay. Uh, so there's so no... we need to have Joe like stand here, and then we all move into the lobby, and then up here maybe. Yeah, or as long, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So there's no effect because no one's in those rooms. Uh, the chanting in the tower reaches its peak and can be heard through the manor as if unnaturally amplified. As the chant reaches its end, you hear a door open. The ritual is complete. I will deal you with deal with you myself. Spawn a priest oh. of Dagon is indicated. This is William Vanderbilt. Uh -oh. oh, did we just lose? No, I think what happens is if if you do, um, if you do take long enough, then eventually it will kind of push us. So, I think there's a way that if we go into those rooms, we can stop the ritual, or we can just fight him and end it. I think those are our, kind of our two choices. So oh, he okay. ap he appears here. Vanderbilt moves two spaces toward the nearest investigator. Then it attacks the investigator in its space, who suffered the least damage. It's probably so Joe. Gonna go toward Joe, yeah. All right. Vanderbilt All right. twitches, and a thick, wet length of kelp lashes out and seems to latch on to you. The cold plant matter is as heavy as chains. Test strength. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Three, and we have no idea how many I want to get. Uh, you need to get two. Oh, easy. Two out of three is easy to do. <laughs> For you, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you tear away from the plants. <laughs> All right, so Joe, you just have to do a horror check, and then okay. that'll be the end of the phase. Damn up with all these old people they're so strong and <laughs> yeah. good at rope. <laughs> Vanderbilt pulls out the long rotting carcass of an eel then proceeds to swallow it whole gagging down the last of it with a slimy grin <laughs> hey watch this <laughs> <laughs> suffer two face down horror will negates uh, okay four just hold on I got a snack here watch <laughs> this <laughs> 
Hey kid, do you wanna watch <laughs> me eat? <laughs> I'll spend one clue to make it two. Alright. So you negated everything. That's that's the end of the round. Wow, so we did leave a cliffhanger. I guess yeah. the big boss is out in our face and people are gonna wait three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He only has ten hit points, so he should be pretty easy to kill. Oof, yeah. Yeah. And we could probably one shot him. Yeah. If we can get to that darkness without going insane. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think we're okay as long as we move through it and don't stop in it. Um, because no, it probably will only happen during the Mythos event that something will happen in the darkness. Oh. Okay. So I think we can stumble through it. All of a sudden, Bane okay. shows up. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. You barely adopted it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so the schedule, real quick, because I know we're over. No show next week. Uh, just because everyone has things kind of going on. But then we'll be back the week after. Gabe and I, Deb will be at this, this con, but we will have and a Nikki guest. Nikki will be at this as well. Yep. Nikki's out for a while. Probably December at minimum. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. yeah, no show next week, but we'll be back the week after with, with a one-off with another surprise guest. Yeah. It won't be the game. It's some other one-off because Deb will be gone, but we will finish this November Exactly. 10th. Yeah. This time we'll. This time, I feel like they've kind of modified this because I played it a couple of times and I don't remember fighting this much. When I oh, it. I know. Spy well, we guy. also got every fucking clue. Yeah, that's true. So we have, we have thoroughly tur uh, turned this place over. Yeah, we didn't like just sprint to the other investigating like rooms. We just yeah. like full cleared everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, we'll be back uh, two weeks from now, and then uh, make sure and check that out. Then we'll be back three weeks from now to finish this up, and uh, it'll be exciting. So hopefully uh, you'll join us back then. Until then, have a good couple weeks. See you guys later. Night. Bye.